We're here today with Steve Marks from Blackstar looking at the Blackstar or ID Core Stereo 100. Yes, we're here. Um, so, yeah, brief description of the product. Um, Blackstar's very successful ID Core range of amplifiers, which were generally a practice amp, um, came out a couple of years back now. And they've really set the world on fire as, as regarding uh, practice amps and the price point they're at. Yeah. Um, but there's been a lot of people that have been asking about um, can I gig the ID Core 40? And it, it's just, it's never really, a, it's n not an option. No, it's not really designed to do that. No. The, the speakers are full range for a start, um, which is ideal for home recording and home practice. It's just, it's just and you've got to remember as well, it's stereo 20 on, yeah. the, on the ID Core 40, so it's, it's not even that full 40 watts. So um, the guys have been busy. Uh, at Blackstar HQ building something that is gigable and is possible to get loud. The main concept of the ID Core high powered range is that it's compact, small, lightweight and um, very very loud when you want it to be. Um, if you're familiar with the ID Core range of amplifiers it's a very similar layout as regarding the voices. There's two cleans, two crunch and two overdrives. Yeah. So there's six preamp voices basically. Some new additions on this means that you have full EQ now because on the original ID Core, you simply just had the patent ISF feature. Yeah. Which was cool and it helped you tailor your tone. And if you needed to use like a three band EQ, a typical tone stack, you would have to plug it into your computer and use the insider software to get to that. Yeah. Um, so now there's a physical EQ on here so you can really tailor your tone at the shows. Yeah. Um, they hold up to 36 patches, nine on the amp itself, but if you're using the optional foot switch, which we'll look at in a moment, you can store up to 36. So it's not too strenuous. It's a, it's a good amount to store if you're a live, yeah, live player. Yeah, but there's plenty in there that means that on the go, you've got a lot to uh, actually work at, at rather than just yeah. one setting and then you're stuck with it. Absolutely, yeah. Um, some new things to talk about, exciting new things with this product, is that it has a looper built in. So loopers and loop stations have become very popular, as we all know, in the music industry um, for guitar players and alike. And uh, we've decided to include a 30 second looper built into the amplifier. Um, what's good news as well is that it actually comes supplied with a two way foot switch, which is this one that you see on the floor. And if you plug a guitar cable into the back of the amp on the foot switch input, um, it's default to looper. So straight away you've got a loop station built in. And the nice thing about this as well is that you can choose any tone or any voicing on here. So for example you could have a clean rhythm and then you could put a really high gain lead guitar over the top and the, the distinction between the two tones stays very clear. Ah right, so whatever setting you're on when you put the loop on stays regardless of you changing the yeah, setting. You got it, yeah. yeah so it, rather than it being uh, like a standard looper where you get whatever tone the guitar is on, yeah. it, it's a lot more versatile Absolutely, that way. Yeah. You so can... if you were to use a standard looper um, and plugged it direct into the input of the amp, um, if you wanted a, a clean tone uh, and you recorded a clean tone and had it looping and then wanted an overdrive and changed the amp to overdrive, the original recording would change to overdrive. So yeah. this you've got the options of all the different sounds and presets. Oh, that's and stuff. Great, isn't yeah. It? Um, another cool little thing in the amp is on the modulation section, uh, typically we used to have phaser, chorus, flanger and tremolo. Yeah. Um, but this time the chorus and the flanger have been combined into one segment, which is cool because you can get some sort of in-between tones as well which oh. is useful, um, which left a segment free for a poly octave generator. So there's a, an octaver built in there. And the segment goes from a minimum to a maximum uh, segment control. And at the minimum start, the smallest part of the segment, it's a low octave. And at the high part of the segment, it's a high octave. And if you're halfway in between, you're getting a 50-50 of each. And then the, the actual effects level control 
um, becomes the wet and the dry signal. Oh, right. So all the way off is fully your guitar. Yeah. All the way on is fully octave. Yeah, so, so it's <clears> like a blend. In... Yeah, so it's really versatile for that sort of stuff. Um, so I'll give you a quick taster of guitar tones and then we'll look at the octaver and then maybe uh, try a loop afterwards to give yeah, you an great. idea of what you can do with it. Um, we'll start on a, a super crunch just to give you a classic sort of high gain sound with a delay and a reverb on there. So. <laughs> So at the moment we only have the one mic, but um, if we had a couple of mics you would be able to really hear that super wide stereo, but it's one of those things that if you haven't experienced super wide stereo in the original ID core, I mean you you know it sounds yeah. really insane. Yeah, it, <laughs> it just adds something into it that it, it really is a cool idea to have it there because it, it really brings something out in the amp that not a lot of other amps have. Yeah, it, it basically sounds three dimensional. Yeah. Um, and the, and the, the nice thing with this, I mean, I've tried this with, a, with an acoustic drummer um, jamming together, and when you've got the amp behind you, it, it almost surrounds you this way, which is really insane, really cool for a live Yeah, so, so not just that, that unidirectional, it, it's the amp, you hear it from wherever it is, it's... Absolutely, yeah, really quite cool. Much more uh, encompassing the, the entire room with it. Yeah. This is um, maybe just a, a quick example of a nice clean warm voice as well. <laughs> Plenty of headroom as well, yeah. you know. It ticks all the boxes for everything from clean to scream, you know, whatever, whatever suits your style. Um, so while we've got a clean voicing, I'm going to show you the Octaver and give you a couple of those examples. So we'll start, um, we'll take off the module, sorry, the delay and the reverb, and we'll um, we'll start at the low end of the octave. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you'll agree octave pedals are pretty popular these days. They are, and they're, they're quite fun as well. So yeah. it's something in there. There's a lot more artists using them, um, and there's a lot more people asking for them. So. Yeah, yeah, and, and they're not cheap either. No. either. So the fact that this uh, amplifier at a very, very reasonable price includes one is, um, yeah. is kind of a cool thing, I think, especially for a live application. Mm -hmm. um, so if I turn the effects level all the way down, um, it's just the, the, the clean signal of the guitar. <laughs> as I increase that to maybe halfway. And then all the way up, it's completely yeah. uh, octave. Yeah, so you can you can have it very gently on, just so you've got something underneath. Something in the mix, yeah. You can have it so that everything's pretty much equal, so you're getting both tones right through, yeah. or you can have just the octave tone on. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, for example, if you're thinking about the looper, you can... Yeah. You can, do, yeah. you can do your bass lines and stuff, yeah. um, and especially for those jazz guys. I'm not going to play jazz because I can't, but uh, it's going to work really well for those guys. Yeah. Um, so if we bring the level of the octave back to about halfway, so it's a good blend of both. As I scroll through the segment now, we'll start to get the higher octave. Yeah. The higher octave is introduced. So the, the octave itself moves up in range as you as that yeah. segment increases. Yeah. yeah. And as I get to the top there, um, if we were to go all the way up as a completely wet signal, mm. it's not very useful. So if no. it's left in the wrong hands, you're going to get that kind of... like a, like a whammy pedal yeah. all the way up, um, which works for some stuff. Um, but I think uh, two or three examples I can give you here is if we've got a high octave, and we bring the mix level down to just a little bit in, we can kind of replicate a decent sort of 12 string sound. Right. So imagine that sort of Rickenbacker kind of vibe. Yeah, that's 
very sparkly sound. Uh, it, it, I know what you mean. It's very. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It has that extra ring to it that yeah. it, it, like I said, it sounds sparkly, maybe a little bit magical to it. it yeah. You just don't get with the six It'll string. suit that kind of traveling Wilburys sort of uh, Tom Petty fan, yeah. you know, to get that sort of. Bring the mix up a little bit more, and we play that play that hard day's night chord, and, yeah. and you're kind of there. You know what I mean? Yeah, you get a lot a lot more ring on the top end that way, but you're still getting that uh, initial low root note. Yeah, yeah. Tr tracks really well too. Yeah. Um, Kind of cool. So another example I can give you is if we go for a low octave um, and a higher mix, and then maybe introduce a, a high gain sound, then this will suit some more modern riff yeah. sort of bands, you know? Similar sort of thing, uh, um, it's out now very White Stripes-esque. White Stripes, Royal Blood. Yeah. Obviously Royal Blood's a bass guy, but, yeah. but that sort of tonality and S those Similar sort of, sort of idea. Yeah, that idea, yeah. Sounds really cool. Yes, yeah, so it works really well for that sort of thing. Um, and you can adjust the mix to whatever you want, just a minimal amount would, would do Yeah, as well. so you're not stuck with it on full blast all the time, you've got a full range of it yeah, there. Yeah. Um, also, one more example, which is really something, is if we go back for more of a cleaner sort of tone, um, and we have a good mixture of both the high octave and the low octave. Yeah. Then I'll introduce a really over-exaggerated reverb, a super wide stereo reverb. So literally tons of the stuff, make it really wet. Uh, a nice, a good amount of delay so we can get some really uh, long lasting sort of tones. And you know, currently in, in the world of guitar players, there's a lot of great pedals out there that will give you that sort of ethereal, cathedral sort yeah. of reverb. Um, that makes it almost sound like a synthesizer playing with the guitar. So you can kind of incorporate that into that idea, especially with the octave generator as well. So just to give you a quick example of that, um, I'll just do some volume swells with the, a, a good, good amount of delay, a really big reverb and the octave on both. So. That's kind of cool. Um, and with that in mind, if we just maybe put a loop down and then I can show you um, what it sounds like when you can play over the top and, and do all that sort of stuff. So on the two-way pedal, basically A is to record, to start, to overdub, B is to stop, to delete, and all that, all that kind of thing. You can also delete, <coughs> excuse me, you can also delete the last thing that you did as well. So if you make a mistake, very much like yeah. a, a decent looper will allow you to do. You know? So. Uh, Let's give it a shot. So the master level becomes the, level, the overall level of your loop. Yeah. To which, so you can bring that down and adjust as much as you want, which is cool. So now let's change the tone. So maybe let's go for a high gain.
So you, know, you can match those levels just nice to work for you, you know, in the moment. Um, so if I just try and put a lead guitar recording down, and then what I'll do is um, I'll delete it as if I've made a mistake. So you can see how easy that is yeah. as well. That's and the nice. simple way to do that is to just press both momentarily just for a moment, like so. Absolutely, yeah, nice and simple. Um, just delete the last thing you did if you wish to do that. Even if you've got lots of overlays and overdubs going on, um, it will only delete the last thing that you did. Yeah, you know, plus so. with uh, being able to do it with your foot as well, uh, it saves fiddling about with all the amp settings if you're in a live situation where you are using that. Absolutely. Another cool thing with the two-way foot switch, which is included, um, is that you can actually adjust the mode in the moment okay. by pressing and holding both pedals. It will put you in patch and bank mode. And there's three banks of three patches on the front panel here. And it will allow you to scroll between three banks and choose two patches from each. So you could go ahead and do the show, do the gig, just simply with a two-way board if you wanted to. Yeah. Which is really, really cool. Um, there is an optional board available as well, which is the FS12. Um, this is a five-way uh, metal casing solid, nice and discreet as well, so it's quite small. Um, and you can use this just by itself with the ID Core 100 or the 150. It's got a nice LED dis display here as well, so you can see your chromatic tuner, you can see your patch names, all of that stuff. Yeah. And basically, just to kind of let you know how it works, A, B, C will relate to three patches within the bank. Both together will be bank up, bank down, D and E can be assigned to be the looper, it can be a delay and a tap tempo, absolutely anything you want them to be. But the nice thing is as well that the two-way doesn't become redundant. Yeah, so you can add, you can add it in there. And absolutely, yeah. So if I just show you um, quickly what you can do, you can link the, the five-way and then link the two-way after to give yourself a seven-way pro board. So that's really, really cool as well. Is everything powered by the amp or...? or Everything's powered by yeah. the amp, yeah, yeah. So it's not no extra batteries or power supplies needed? No. So really uh, a, re a nice discreet foot switch on the floor, free show. You know, you've got your looper there, you've got your control pedals yeah. to do anything you want, your patch mode, your bank up, bank down, tuner. I mean, the guys have thought of everything really. Yeah. It's nice and, and tidy as well. It's not something that's going to get in your way. It is just something that gives you that extra option there. Absolutely. And, you know, ultimately, I don't want to move the amplifier too much, but it is really, really light. You can kind of see from just me just doing that with my, you know, my, my thumb, just moving it back and forth. Yeah, so may, maybe designed for someone who's looking to downsize, wants that versatility there, yeah. and doesn't want the back-breaking weight of something Closer Something bigger, this. yeah, yeah. Amps, amps by nature are, are heavy. Yeah. Heavy music, heavy amps. Yeah, very much. So. Um, but uh, you know, there's, there, there is. I think there is a market there for people that want something light, easy, programmable, like you said. Yeah. Um, all the effects on board. Uh, the market these days is growing as well uh, with better PA systems in venues. The fact that stuff like this has a line out on it. Yeah, you got uh, it. it it is, is growing where you can use something like this that is loud enough to be heard in a room but then mic it up, up properly run it through the PA yeah. and you're getting a great sound Sounds all the killer. way over the venue. Really does sound killer. It's a 2x10 configuration, I'm not sure if I mentioned that as well, yeah. on both models. Simply the only difference is the wattage and the, the size. The 150 is probably about this high either side, so yeah. it's a little bit bigger. Um, but it's a really nice follow-on from the original ID Core range. and. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they'll be hitting stores very, very soon, so make sure you get into Reedy's and check them out, because they sound killer. So. That's great. If you'd like to know any more information about the amp or about any other Blackstar products, there's a link in the description below. Cheers. Thank you.